What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to a special Tech Tuesday live in our shop car. Ain't that right, Krista? Yep, we are in our shop Mustang. This is where we test a lot of our products, and yep. we're actually breaking into clutch right now. Absolutely. Part of the things that we do here in regards to testing is we want to make sure that uh, all of our products that we are developing work properly. And uh, you know, part of that is, and that's the reason why we have the shop Mustang, is to drive it around and make sure that we do proper testing. So we're here with our president, Paul Lee. What's up, Paul? Hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys for joining us. So what we have here is our 1989 Fox Body Mustang, and we have in here one of our brand new uh, McLeod Double Disc RXTs. Now, there's a few reasons why the RXT is the best-selling double disc clutch in the market. One of them is it has very light pedal pressure. It has a pedal pressure uh, that you could push in with your hand. It's so light, some people think it's not real, but it is. That's right. Absolutely. The next thing, the next big benefit is the holding power. The RXT clutch will handle 1,000 horsepower with daily driving, just like I'm doing now. But there's a proper way to uh, treat the clutch, especially when you buy a brand new. Uh, the first thing you have to do when you when you install this clutch is to drive it for 500 miles and stop and go traffic like we're doing now. You know, cycles. We don't want to drag the clutch. We don't want to spin the tires or, or drag it really hard. And that's because the centered surfaces are not perfectly flat. They have to be worn in. And the way you wire them in is on and off, the clutch on and off driving in stop and go traffic just like we're doing now. So it's very important to do that. when the the uh, surfaces are new, they need this break-in period to mate, mate um, perfectly to the flywheel. So if you don't do that, it will slip. And the reason why it'll slip is because the centered iron surfaces are not perfectly flat, so all of the material is not catching the flywheel. So it's very important that you cycle it. Not, don't take it to the dyno. Don't do burnouts with it. If you treat it for 500 miles, nice stop-and-go traffic, the uh, clutch will last you forever and it'll handle a thousand horsepower with no problems. Spoken from the man himself. Yeah, so it's like a thousand and twelve hundred clutch cycles is what we're looking for. That's right. And again, if you ever have any questions, feel free to call us at our tech line and uh, we'll be happy to answer and address anything that you might have. And also drop it on the comments below. Yeah. So um, I do have one note about the traction control. So when a lot of the new cars do have traction control options, make sure that is off every time you get in your car to break in your clutch. We do not want that on there. When you do this, you treat this clutch, doing the right break in, it will be the best clutch you've ever owned. That's right. Not as fun as a funny car, huh, Paul? Almost. <laughs> Almost? Yeah. Not quite, but driving an RXT is pretty enjoyable. I'll Very good. That. It brings the joy back into driving a stick shift car. Awesome. How's it going, Jeff Smith? What's up, Jeff? Hey, Jeff. Welcome to a mini tour of Orange County. Anybody have any questions for us, please drop it on the comments below. Again, we're joined by Mr. Paul Lee. Another thing is, is that you want to drive normal. Like if you're going onto the freeway and you're merging on, go ahead and merge like normal. Just don't kill it. <laughs> don't overdo it, but just drive like normal. Exactly, exactly. That's one of the most common questions we have on the tech line is folks uh, that are concerned about um, merging onto the freeway and stuff like that is yes once you get into the upper RPMs you can drive it like you need to get into a lane but uh, off of a dig not a good idea so 500 miles of stop and go driving. It's pretty, pretty easy to do here in Southern California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just go on one of our freeways.
absolutely. Uh, I come from the four-cylinder world, so when I was driving this car um, with this RXT, RXT in the car, it definitely felt great. It, it grabbed really nicely, and uh, it definitely uh, it's, it's a worthy upgrade for anybody out there. So, Joe, you liked driving a Mustang? I, uh, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, I might have to trade in my four-cylinder for an eight-cylinder. This is definitely a different animal. It's pretty fun. Other than that, if you guys have any questions,